everything together. We paddle together, we swim together, we hike together, and we even tan together. So today, we will be doing a video on what it's like to live in a tiny space with two big dogs for both them and for us. Where are they while we're traveling? All right, so we travel with our dogs in the car. We put the seats down so they have the whole bag to, to themselves. So they can look out the window, they can sleep, they could do whatever they want back there. And when we're not traveling and we, we stop like to have lunch or something, we take them to, to the camper with us. All of the time we're all together. The activities, the dogs do with us. Okay, so we try to take them everywhere we go with us to do all the activities together. Just paddle boarding, swimming, we hike them with them, we walk with them. If we're going out to a restaurant to eat, we also take them with us. Um, if we go, for example, to the supermarket, if it's, let's say, Walmart, um, one of us stays in the car while the other one goes and does all the grocery shopping. If it's a tiny little market, like the ones that we have here in Mexico, then we will leave them in the car as long as we can keep an eye on them. Um, the main reason why we like to take them everywhere with us is because they get tired. That's the way that they burn energy. Of course, it's just like taking them out for walks. And if they don't have enough activities, then they will have a lot of energy, and that's where the problem starts. Since we adopted her, Echo has always suffered from separation anxiety, even when we were living in our structure house. Every time we would leave, it was always something that was broken, something she had done. So here, the best way to prevent that is always, you know, keeping her running or keeping her active, where she just doesn't have that much energy. So it happened this two weeks, we left to kite surf and we, and another day we went to the bar. Echo, she destroyed, the first day she destroyed one pillow full of feathers. Like there were like one million feathers in this pillow. And the second day she destroyed the lock of the window, opened it up. At 10 at night, we were looking everywhere for her. The mattress was destroyed. The other pillow full of feathers was destroyed bed sheets destroyed so definitely that's that's why we want to keep them active what is the hardest part about our dogs okay so the hardest part about the dogs is that they don't like other dogs so when they see another dog walking they just want to attack the dog they start pulling on the leash start barking at other dogs they start growling people get scared this wasn't so bad when we were in the United States because almost every dog there is on a leash. You go to a park unless you're going to an off-leash park. Most dogs are always on a leash. The problem is here in Mexico, every single, all the dogs around there, around here are loose. So you have random dogs approaching us. And that's when they become extremely aggressive. This is a trait that most Akitas have. They are not that tolerant towards other dogs, but we're definitely trying to solve this. We just want them to be tolerant and to not react when other dogs approach because it's it's exhausting for us and it's hard to handle it really is they're very strong dogs it's a regular day for echo and us okay so the day starts we wake up we take them out we put them on the leash then at 12 in the afternoon we bring them inside again they have to get their nap especially Ozzy if not we'll start beeping like a little chicken <laughs> And then we take them out again, we do some activities, some exercise, and then at night we come in the trailer, we put their beds in the floor, and we go to sleep. Size matter. Yes, obviously size does matter when you have a dog living in a tiny space, not only because they take up more space, for example, when they're going to sleep, when they're going to eat, they're larger, obviously they take more space, but also, as we mentioned, if your dog is not friendly, if it does something wrong, it's so much easier to just pick up a 40 pound dog or a 20 pound dog than a dog that is 100 pounds that is pulling you with all of his strength. It's definitely a lot easier to control a smaller dog. It's easier to deal with one. You can put them anywhere and you won't even feel it. For them, it's kind of, okay, we need to move to, a, to one spot or they move to the other in order for all of us to fit in the same spot. If we knew we were gonna have this lifestyle, would we have Akitas again? The answer is definitely no. 
definitely know. We love our dogs. We love them with all our hearts. Ozzy and Echo, we love them. We would never leave them behind right now because they already they are a family and they are already part of our lives. So we would never leave them behind. This is the lifestyle we chose after we already had them and we're gonna you know, they're always going to be together with us. However, if we knew prior to getting them that we were going to have this lifestyle, that this is what we wanted to do, we would have not gotten them. Um, there are a lot of work, not mostly because of their lack of tolerance with other dogs. Um, they are very large in size. They're very strong dogs. They're very protective. Akitas are so smart. They're great dogs. They really are. But it makes it a little harder to travel because you will find dogs everywhere and random people or random dogs, random animals will approach you because you're going through different places, right? So if we would do this again and we didn't have our dogs, we probably, we do love dogs, so we probably would have gotten a smaller dog or just those dogs that are very, you know, they're easy to train, they follow every single instruction or a dog that we can just like super friendly with super dogs. friendly we probably I but think if we were to do it again not even I think <laughs> if we were to do it again we oh would just God. adopt like a random dog from here from the street this dog's here they are so good all right thank you my fans my followers if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our video we have more videos coming every week next week